Good morning. My name is Trevor. Welcome back to Regatta Fitness. One of our first classes back from Thanksgiving. First one back with me. Hope you had a wonderful holiday, whether you uh, were with family or ended up having to spin it, you know, do the times by yourself. Either way, we're back. And we're ready to burn some calories. We've got an advanced row today with some power pieces. So we're going for really short intervals, but for max power. Uh, we got 30 minutes to finish this workout, so we're just going to get started by loosening up those hips, loosening up that back, and uh, we'll just get started right away. One of my favorites is sort of the, the hamstring stretch here. Making sure, you know, we're just trying to pivot from those hips, find that tug a little bit under the knee. Not holding it for more than half a second to a second. This is a dynamic stretch. Just gets our bodies really used to the idea that we're getting warmed up, ready for activity. Static stretching before activity can sometimes cause harm to the body. So we're just going to do this a few more times, and we'll stretch out a couple other parts. We'll get two more on each leg here. We'll go one, one, two, and two. And the next one, we'll do the other side of our leg. So the quad muscles there. And if you're able to, you can go for that reach. It really stretches out that lat. Sometimes I have to sort of stare at one spot on the floor. Also, if you feel like you're having trouble falling over, finding your balance, just really lock in that core. And that'll help you sort of stabilize. Breathing. Just opening up that rib cage. All those muscles we're about to use here. Feels good early in the morning, especially. You know, sometimes after you sleep, maybe you worked out yesterday, just feeling a little tight early in the morning. This is a great way just to get the body primed. And we'll go two more each leg. One. It's one. It's two. And two, good. Now what we'll do is we'll go into a side lunge and reach. And the goal of this is to get the actual hip joint moving. And also you'll feel a stretch sort of back in your lower trap area and your scapulas, your shoulder blades. And you'll just step over here and you'll press through. And we'll look back up straight and press through. And you just keep alternating just like that, trying to sink a little deeper into that side lunge each time. Good. Try and let that butt fall back. Don't let that knee come over the toe. This one can be pretty tough if your hips are tight. So just be patient with it. It's all right if you're a little tight in the hips. Most people are, I know I am. So breathing, just allowing the body to just get warmed up here. Good. Get a couple more on each leg. One. Good. One. Two. And two. Good. And our last one we'll do before we jump back on the air is we're just going to grab the knee, grab the ankle, and pull up. You should feel that nice down deep into your glute. That's it. Last one here, just getting the legs going. And the rest of the warm up will be right down, you know, pulling that fan, getting mentally prepared now. Power intervals. Like I said, it's just short, short intervals. It'll be 30 seconds on with a lot of rest, 90 seconds rest, which may seem silly, but what we're gonna do is keep the rate decently low and we're gonna produce that power per stroke. Let's go one more each leg. One, one, perfect. Let's get ready to go. Got our feet strapped in here. Make sure we're ready to go. Adjust your feet. Let's take just a couple seconds to shake it off here. We'll grab the handle. 
time to go. So hopefully the hips are feeling a little better now. Just looking for good, consistent pace now. As we get into this, we'll do some of those builder pieces to get used to the rating, get used to the power aspect. <sighs> Paying attention to the way we're moving. So today with just 30 seconds, we're gonna really be testing that muscle memory. The last couple seconds are gonna be pretty tough. Those last couple strokes, it'll be easy to grab with the arms or to open with the back too soon. So while we warm up, let's think about hips first. Push through those heels. Make sure the heels go down first. That's good. Just like that. Feeling those lats. Feeling those hips. We'll do our first builder here. 24, sorry, 22 to get started. Max power. Think of it as like 90% to get going. That's it, good. Sitting on good rhythm there. Let's go five more. Big power, one, two, three, four, and five. Good. Back down to just normal rowing. We'll get two more of those in. And then we'll get into the workout. <sighs> Always breathing. Especially on these power pieces. Sometimes, like you're weightlifting, it's easy to forget to breathe. <sighs> All right. Gonna go for our next builder now. <sighs> this time we'll try and see 24. Let's build now. Let's go. Good. 24. Big strokes now. Big legs. Big power. Show me what you got now. Let's go. Sitting up. Breathing. Three more. One. Two. And three. Down, good. All right, we'll do one more builder and then we'll start this workout. So 30 seconds on, 90 seconds off, two minute intervals essentially. We'll get into one more builder. On the next stroke, here we go, 24. That's it, 24, we're on. Now let's build it on here, go, power. My advanced rowers with me here. Got some good mechanics, good understanding of how to row. Using that to your advantage to find a number on the screen you're happy with. Perceived exertion you're happy with. <sighs> Pushing the envelope now. Three more. One, two, and three. Good. <sighs> All right. Getting ready to start this workout. We'll keep moving for about 40 seconds. And then we'll the real work starts. So getting mentally ready, mentally prepared. What kind of numbers do you wanna see on the screen here? All of the pieces are gonna be at 24. So it's up to you to decide what kind of splits and power you're gonna produce. How are you gonna find something that's challenging but manageable and try and get faster through the workout? 15 seconds to go. That's it, all right. Here we go, first piece. Let's try and surprise ourselves with how hard we can go today. Let's go on now. 
24. Good. Now we're on. 20 seconds. Press now. Press. Let's go. That's it. It's just 30 seconds. Find the legs. Good. Five seconds. One more. Down. 90 seconds rest. 90 seconds rest. Good. Let the heart rate come back down. Let the pressure come back down. Just finding good momentum now. You got about 30 seconds to sort of just let the body rock back and forth. And then for this minute now, before we start the next piece, that's when you want to bring it back to that steady pressure. Find some good rhythm. Ride with me. We'll sit around 20. Just good steady press. It's good to let those legs flush out. This workout will really start to hit you towards the end. So getting ready to produce some more power. We got about 30 seconds to the build. Just taking it those 12 strokes at a time. 30 seconds to 24. Even if you have to count down from 12 to get the most out of your legs today. Let's sit ready to build to 24 on this one. Now, building to 24, two, three, and we're on 24. Now 12, go. That's it. Here we go. Power, power, power. Big legs, let's go. Hips now, hips. It's nine, 10, 11, and 12. Down, two pieces gone. That's what I'm talking about. Already starting to feel those glutes and hamstrings light up. Just looking for that satisfaction of using the right muscle groups. Whew. 10 more seconds to sort of move back and forth. Whew. We're gonna find a rhythm now. Back to that steady rowing for a minute. Let's go here. Back to a 20, long consistent rhythm. Hips, swing, draw. Whew. Hips, swing, draw. Lengthening out the time spent on the drive. Whew. Relaxing the traps. Relaxing the biceps on the drive. Whew. Just looking for good rhythm and ratio. Whew. Good, that's it. A little less than 30 seconds. We're gonna sit ready to build for our third piece into one and two let's go now let's go 12 strokes after we build for one two and three we're on one two three i know you've got more let's go four Five, we're weightlifting here. Six, halfway. Seven, eight, nine, we're weightlifting. Deadlift the fan here. 11 and 12. Easy. Good stuff. Here we go. Doing great this morning. Might be feeling a little sluggish. Still got some turkey some gravy. I know I always talked about that apple pie and those cookies. Whew. Definitely working those off right now. It's always good to take a little bit of a break, enjoy some good food. Whew. Give yourself that challenge to work it back off. Whew. Really feel 
like you're loading up that deadlift bar and you're just launching the weight off of the footboard. You wouldn't try to deadlift too much with your shoulders or your arms. You would just press it through the feet here. 30 seconds till our next piece. Finding 24 again, max power for 30 seconds. We're gonna build it for three strokes on my call. On this one, here we go. One, two, and three. Let's go on. Now, 12 strokes go. Two, three, big power. Let's go. Deadlift for four, five, six, big hips, seven, eight, nine. Let's go. Let's go. Ten, two more. Eleven, twelve. Easy. Down, down, down. Well done. Doing a great job so far. Stay consistent here. This is where the work finally starts to catch up with you. A few pieces in. If you're having trouble feeling the intensity, maybe put your fan up just a little bit. Nothing higher than a six though. I want to usually stay between a four and a five on the fan setting. About a minute to go of rest. We're gonna lengthen back out. Find that rhythm again. Good. This next piece, we're gonna focus on glutes and core. We're gonna squeeze our abs and squeeze our glute muscles to move that fan. We're gonna get our body weight working for us. We're gonna put the body weight onto the handle and onto the foot structure. We're gonna build the 24 into one and two. Let's build one, two, 24 on, 12 strokes now. One, two, good, max power. Three, that's it. Four, hang off it. Five, six, seven, eight, sitting up. Nine, good, here we go. 10, two more, one, Max, 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 two. Down. Well done. Doing a great job here. That's it. Stay with me. Let that rhythm wind down. Breathe it out. Let the legs refresh. Hopefully you sort of felt that deadlift there. Big connected strokes. You want to move that fan every inch. Think about if the handle is moving, the hips are moving. You don't want to let the hips move without the handle, and you don't want the handle to move without the hips. Think about that here, that if you're moving those glutes and core, that handle's coming with you. 30 seconds till we go. We've got that focus. Let's find that motivation. Let's go. We're gonna build on my call to 24. Max press again. Working off those Thanksgiving treats in two. That's one, two. Let's build one. Two and three, we're on, let's go, max, let's go. 
12, 11, 10 strokes. Let's go. Nine, all you. Eight, big legs. Seven, six, breathe. Five, four, sit up. Three, and draw. Two, last one. Down. Nicely done. Sweat's starting to creep in. Nicely done. Even see, just with that 90 seconds rest, still easy to start getting into a sweat. We're working hard here. Again, this power work, you think of it as sort of weightlifting. Lots of rest with just 30 seconds of work, really. But if we're doing it right, we're really feeling the burn. Feel like we're getting stronger. And each time we do something like this, these power workouts, you just want to keep finding that idea of power per stroke, connecting that body weight and that power to the footboard, to that fan. Let's find good long 20 here as we prepare for the next piece. Finding a rhythm, finding the right muscle groups here. That's it. Let's build now. 24, one, two, and three. Let's go, 12 strokes, big legs. Big legs. More, more, more. Press now, press. Hips and swing. Find the length and power through. Six strokes. Good. More, more, more. Coming up on the end of this workout. Don't leave anything left. Down. Good stuff. Not saving all for the last piece. We're really trying to keep the effort high all the way through this workout. It's easy to become sort of a last piece hero as we call it. It's so easy to find that motivation on the very last piece. If anything, you want to feel like you got nothing left on the last piece, which means you're able to really go for it in the middle and the early parts of the workout. Totally okay. If you don't feel like you quite did that today, every session is, you know, sort of learning about our bodies. Let's try and find a second to last piece where we really press through. This is the second to last piece. So let's not save it all for the end. Let's try and empty the tank now and we'll have plenty of motivation and go for the last piece. So sit up, let's breathe, find that consistency and let's build to 24 now. One, two, and three, on 24, let's go. Show me the power. Move the fan. Biggest number on the screen you can see possible. Six strokes now. One, two, three. Three more. One, big hips. Two, and three, down, good, breathe it out, breathe it out, looking for that consistent rhythm, we got one more piece, doing a phenomenal job, let's catch the breath, Now 
Thinking about finding that 20 again. Find the length and composure necessary to really crush this last piece. Build off that last piece we just did. Carrying that momentum over. Sitting up and breathing. Hips first. We'll sit ready to build. On the next piece. Sorry, next stroke here. Three to build. One, two, and three. Let's go now. 12. Last 11. What's left in the tank? 10. You got more. Nine. Weight lifting again. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Let's go. There's more. Four. Long strokes. Three. Sitting up. Two. One. Last one. Zero. That's it. Nicely done. And that's the workout. Now we just got to cool down. Make sure those glutes are on fire. Those quads are on fire. Let's flush it out now. It means you're just full of lactic acid. Let the heart do its job now. Press it through. Just let those muscles relax. Let the fresh blood pump through them. That's it. You're gonna find a nice, good, continuous rhythm now. Just to find something consistent and composed. That's it. Let's find some composure and ride it out. About two minutes left. Just finding a good rhythm. Finishing the workout right. If you feel like you had a little more left or you couldn't quite push as hard as you want to at the 24, it's all something we learn when we do this workout again. We think about how could we have gone a little harder, a little earlier. How do we lengthen out our stroke to make the 24 really valuable? You know, advanced throwers do a lot of testing on the erg at 24. You know, 6,000 meters rate 24, or even a 30 minute test rate 24. Lots of national teams use these testing. So if you're feeling like you're able to really push a 24, odds are you're moving quite well. And if it's still pretty challenging, and you're having trouble sticking to it, you just got to get those reps in. Today was a great day to do that. We'll go 10 more strokes on this one now. Length and rhythm. Here we go. One, breathe. Two, good. Three, great way to start the day now. Four, five, five more. Six, breathe it out. Seven, just bring it down. Eight. Relax. Nine. And ten. Great job. Put that handle down. Take the feet out. Shake it out. Awesome job today. Wonderful power workout for those advanced rowers. This is your first time doing an advanced workout. Plenty more to come. Have a great day. Thank you for joining Regatta Fitness. And we'll see you soon.